بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم everybody my name is Zafifa Khwaja and thank you for joining us on another episode of Muslim Perspectives the weekly program dedicated to bringing you news about the Muslim community both at the local as well as the international levels The Ascendant Quran, realigning man to the divine power culture. The first ever tafsir written directly in English by one of the best known Quran scholars in North America, Imam Muhammad Al Asi. Three volumes of this multi volume tafsir are now available from Crescent International at a special price of $40 per volume, including shipping anywhere in North America. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Zafar Bangash. Welcome to Muslim Perspectives. Today we bring you a very special program regarding the visit of George Galloway, the former British MP who was banned from entry into Canada early last year as a result of the direct interference of Canada's Minister of Immigration, Jason Kenney. Uh, a federal judge, a Canadian federal judge on September 27th uh, overruled that and in fact he ruled that this was a political decision and that um, George Galloway posed no threat to Canada's security and he was not a terrorist by any means. On October the 2nd, George Galloway arrived to a rousing welcome in Canada and on Sunday, October the 3rd, he spoke to a packed audience at the Trinity St. Paul's United Church on Bloor Street West in Toronto. We bring you George Galloway's speech. It's going to be only the first part and the second part would be broadcast the following week. We hope you enjoy it. I'm very happy to be in Canada.
you to a number of people and organizations. First of all, I want to thank this church in which I have spoken before for giving us this wonderful auditorium for this historic meeting.
So many of these ministers in your country and mine were always ready to fight to the last drop of somebody else's blood. <laughs> they never send their own children to war, but they're more than happy to send yours to war. I was a boxer in my youth. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Kenny would like to go five rounds with me. Please convey it to him. Jason Kenny, I'm challenging you to a public debate. Absolutely. 
absurd idea. We discovered by chance, by the grace of God, if you're a believer, that the Canadian Security Services told Jason Kenney 18 months ago when they were asked that I was not a terrorist and I was not a threat to Canadian national security and they were completely ignored by the deceiver, Jason Kenney. What, what's the point of having a security service? If when they tell you someone is not a terrorist, not a threat to national security, you go on television and say the opposite whilst concealing from the public the fact that the security services said the very opposite. Pinocchio. They <laughs> slandered me. First of all, and in breach of Canada's Privacy Act, they revealed to Rupert Murdoch's Sun newspaper the dirtiest of all his tabloids, and believe me, there's a lot of competition for that title. <laughs> I woke up to read on the front page of the Sun as I was packing my suitcase that I was banned from Canada before any official of the Canadian government or the High Commission in London had even begun to try to contact me to communicate this decision. That's the first breach of the law, but it's not the last. And Mr. Kenny's actions, in the face of all the evidence, knowing as they must have that this saga could only have one ending, have spent a fortune of the Canadian people's taxes in defending the indefensible. And I have bad news for you as Canadian taxpayers. I intend to seek redress.
what the judge says. The judge says in terms that it is a corruption of the English language to describe the taking of ambulances and wheelchairs and teddy bears and children's toys and clothes to Gaza under illegal blockade and describe it as terrorism. The word terrorism has no meaning if taking wheelchairs to people who have been the victims of Israeli terrorism. Not only is it a crime, 
to support the starvation of the people of Gaza. It is a blunder to do so. Have they never asked themselves why radical Islamist organizations are becoming stronger in Palestine, in Egypt, in every part of the Muslim world? Can't we understand that it's the double standards and the injustice visited by Western countries on the Muslim world that is which is sown by those double standards and that injustice. Well, someone asks about the media. When I, I was in Turkey when I got the news with the convoy that we'd won this case. And then, within minutes of having been told by my lawyers that we'd won this case, I started to receive Google alerts from one Canadian newspaper after another, every single one of them had a headline which says, Galloway lost. <laughs> so, if this is what losing looks like, Well, I'm afraid that's all for today. We are out of time, but as uh, I mentioned at the beginning of this program, uh, we are going to bring you the rest of George Galloway's uh, speech as well as our uh, interview with him uh, next week. So don't um, uh, fail to tune in to Muslim Perspectives that is broadcast on Rogers uh, Channel 129, Bell Expressway Channel 217 and Star Choice 348. You've been watching Muslim Perspectives. I'm Zafar Bangash. Thank you and wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. end of our program. Thank you for watching the show with us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on another episode of Muslim Perspectives aired at the same time on Saturday at 10:30 a.m. My name is Afifa Khawaja. Assalamu alaikum. Mm -hmm.